Hey, welcome to the garage. So there hasn't been a video on this channel in ages. Um, life, health, work, family, all sorts of things have gotten in the way. Um, and also a little bit of um, grand challenge fatigue. After the third or fourth rebuild of the engine on the SR125, I can't say I felt like facing it again. Um, and so things just kind of went quiet and I got on with my day job. But since the sun has finally come out this summer, I decided it was time to tidy up the garage. You can probably see some new racking on the right hand side and an air powered motorbike lift on the left hand side. And with a tidy garage means much more room for activities, time for new projects um, and a little bit of an update. So without further ado, um, we're going to go for a nice dodgy reveal here. The camera's probably going to flicker because of the fluorescent lights. But um, let's see what we've got to play with. So, since I last made a video, obviously my Himalayan's on the left, nothing much has changed there. Bridgestone AX41 tyres, really great, surprisingly good on pavement. On the right hand side, Interceptor 650, not mine, but my partner's. She's, um, in the time since I last made a video, done a CBT, done a Mod 1, done a Mod 2, got a motorbike licence, and put a couple of thousand miles on that. So I'm sure it'll show up on the channel at some point, but it doesn't really need for much because it's as good as brand new. It's a 2020 bike that somebody bought and uh, put a thousand miles on in four years and then sold back to the dealer having put 1800 quids worth of aftermarket accessories on it which happened to be all the ones that she wanted so not going to complain there. And then there's the elephant that's going to be coming into the room in a moment sat in the middle. You might have seen in the past there was a Tomos A3 on this channel at some of the first videos here. Sadly for reasons I'll tell you in another video that's gone. Um, it's gone to a friend of mine who didn't have very much space in his garage because he also had a languishing project um, sat in the corner taking up room. That languishing project is now sat in front of you. It's a 1997 Honda ST1100 Pan-European with ABS and traction control. That is, well, it looks a lot better from the front than it does from the back because the back is all completely torn apart. Uh, it's something that he picked up off of another friend of ours about five years ago and never got round to doing anything with. The garage light is going to become a feature of this channel, I fear, has decided um, that I'm dead, or at least not moving, or gone. But yeah, so that's um, come to me. I've swapped the Tomos with him. He's going to use the Tomos for a bit of prattling around um, and ride into the shops. I'm going to see if I can get this ST1100 back on the road. No money changed hands, uh, he's got an entire garage full of spare parts for a Tomos now and a Tomos. I've got a shelf full of spare parts for a Pan-European and a Pan-European. Hopefully we each find new motivation to get on with projects that we should have been getting on with before. And as much as it pains me to say, there is also still the Grand Challenge bike. It's not gone anywhere. So... It's not got an MOT at the moment, um, the number plate is snapped off and the centre stand started rubbing on the chain so I fixed both of those things, took the centre stand off, put a new number plate on it um, and I just need to organise it an MOT really but um, neither me nor my other half have much desire to ride a 125 about at the moment and with the weather having not been that great I haven't taken it out green laning, I've just been doing that with the Himalayan. So. We'll get all of that sorted at some point and take that out for another laning ride. Um, so if we can make part two of the how to green lane video and I guess we'll start a series on the Pan-European. Um, it hasn't been touched since I picked it up and it hasn't run for, as far as I know, five or six years. And it hasn't had an MOT for more than ten. So it's going to be a will it start, first start, tear it apart kind of video. Um, anyone who knows these bikes and I have owned one before knows that it has a cam belt that needs sorting out um, and it has some fairly common problems, well known problems like swing arms and stuff so we're going to see if we can discover and address any of those. See if we got lucky with a swap or whether we've got a bike that's better torn apart and um, stuck on eBay. So I'm going to stop waffling. Thank you to anyone who is still watching. Um, sorry to those who are expecting more content. Let's see if we can fix that problem and make some videos. Have a great day, enjoy whatever you're wrenching on and peace. 